Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice the radio. So today, we need to take a little bit of a look at a couple of new, well, Gen 5 legendary Pokemon. And yes, I know Volcarona isn't really a legendary Pokemon like that. But you know what I mean, ladies and gentlemen. You know what I mean. We have got our translations here from the lovely Antoine Boulet. And we're going to start off today with Thunderous. And I showed you the other day some hints and teases we were given about upcoming cards. Turns out one of them was Thunderous. So starting off with the basics here, we've got 120 HP, which is slightly annoying because there's a lot of Pokemon that naturally do 120. We would like a little bit more Boo Hiss, etc. We've got a Retreat cost of 1, which is nice and low and gives U-Turn board and all of that. We've got a Weakness to Fighting, which honestly isn't great because we've got all the good stuff like Eternatus, which is obviously weak to fighting. But then we've got those new Urshifu coming that are looking pretty nice that are, of course, fighting type. And it is, shall we say, adding up to potentially a bad weakness. But then you give up one prize, you've got 120 HP, you'll be fine. Being a lightning Pokemon means you can accelerate energy with Tapu Koko, which is quite nice. It means you fit nicely into decks with stuff like Pikachu and Zekrom, which is quite nice. But it does mean that you're not really hitting anything relevant for weakness. It's, um, yeah... Not a common weakness against really good Pokemon. You'll have stuff like Inteleon, which are little fringe decks here and there. But let's not get too excited about the weakness. But let's get a little bit excited about the first attack. One Lightning Energy, 30 damage. You may attach a Lightning Energy from your hand to one of your bench Pokemon. Oh. Well, remember one of the teasers I gave you in that video the other day was a Pokemon that deals damage while attaching extra energy. Well, this is it, ladies and gentlemen. This is absolutely it. And I know I'm not going to be the only one that makes this comparison, but this is very, very much like the Raikou from Shining Legends. The only real difference here... Being that Raikou attached from the discard pile, whereas Thunderous attaches from your hand. A lot of the time, I kind of prefer attaching from the discard. Because you're going to be playing cards like Quick Ball and Professor's Research, etc. We have a bunch of cards that see a bunch of play at the moment that essentially let you or make you discard cards. So you can essentially just grab the energy, chuck it in the discard, worry about it later. It's kind of there waiting for you. Whereas if you're attaching from your hand, you've actually got to have the energy in hand when you attack. So you could have the energy in hand, play a professor's research, but then not have one in hand when you attack, and then you've lost that energy. But the thing is, this is a nice Pokemon in terms of getting going in the early game. These are the kind of Pokemon that used to be pretty gosh darn popular a while back. There was a time when so many decks, you know, the, the Darkness decks were all playing Evil Tau. And the Fire decks were all playing Volcanion. These Pokemon that did a bit of damage while accelerating energy to the bench and getting set up. We're not there at the moment. We don't see a bunch of those Pokemon, but I do think we're in a format that might lend itself to it. Think about a card like Rosa. If you had a Pokemon KO the previous turn, you search for a Pokemon, an energy, and a trainer card. So essentially what you do is you have Thunderous in the active, doing a bit of damage, accelerating a bit of energy, and then when your opponent finally takes a KO, you play Rosa. Or we've got that new Bruno card coming, which is a slightly nerfed version of Cynthia's Feelings. It's a shuffle draw four, which isn't particularly good. But if you had a Pokemon KO the previous turn, it's a shuffle draw seven. Shuffle your hand into your deck, draw seven cards. And that is, shall we say, a whole bunch better. So you know what? This could work using this as an early game Pokemon. And we have an early game Pokemon that we're already using in Lightning decks. It is Boltund. Now, I am not saying this is better than Boltund, and I'm not saying it's going to replace Boltund. Boltund has a couple of big advantages. Firstly, Boltund searches for two energy from your deck and attaches them. And attaching two energy rather than one is better. Attaching from your deck rather than your hand is better. Because again, you don't need to get the energy in your hand. You just need to 
have it in your deck. And you've also got that really nice Bolt Storm attack that does 10 damage plus 30 more for each Lightning Energy attached to all of your Pokemon. So, it's hard to argue that Thunderous is better in terms of Energy Acceleration than Bolt Hunt. But Thunderous does have some advantages. Thunderous has an attack which deals damage, not just accelerates energy. So, the dealing damage bit could be pretty nice. Not only that, but you're a single prize Pokemon. Which clearly is a bit of an advantage when you're up against these decks that are trying to win by taking multiple prizes and you can completely screw up their mass by chucking a single energy Pokemon out. We all know that Lightning decks at the moment, it's really about getting rolling. Once you've got free energy on a Pikachu and Zekrom, you're off. But does this really do it well enough? I mean, essentially, you attach an energy to Thunderous, and then you attack, attach an energy to Pikachu and Zekrom, and then next turn, you tap a Coco Prism Star, attach for the turn, there's the free energy. But of course, you're attaching to Thunderous to attach to Picarom. You could just attach to Picarom, but maybe the 30 damage is good enough. What we really need is a good way to pile on the damage, and I don't think Vitality Band putting it from 30 to 40 is really going to do it. If it was colorless energy and you could be behind on prizes and use Martial Arts Dojo, or, it's, you know, the lightning type thing, maybe. If we still had Thunder Mountain Prism Star and you could attack for free, although, again, there's an argument as to why you don't just use Thunder Mountain on Picarom, then maybe. As it is, I like this. I think it's cool. But Bolton's going to survive the rotation, and I think Bolton is better at accelerating energy. And you're only accelerating one, but you've got to put one on there in the first place. And I don't know if 30 damage is enough, so I don't know. I think if we can make this do a bit more damage, it is cool. And I think there's certainly a lot of potential in a deck where you are aiming to accelerate energy, then get KO'd, then play something like Rosa. But I'm not sure if the format we're in at the moment is going to make this as good as something like Evil Tal was back a few years ago. I'm going to give it between three and four Wossies. We don't give half Wossies. That would be barbaric. I think there's a little bit of potential here. I think it's kind of cool. But I think at the end of the day, it might end up not being quite good enough. I would love to be wrong. Oh, hang on a second. I haven't even told you about the second attack here. Uh, it's free energy, 130, and it does 30 damage to itself. It's fine, but it's not good. It's okay. Now, I told you that you want 130 HP because a lot of Pokemon naturally deal 120. This will essentially KO those 130 Pokemon, which is nice. But honestly, if you want free energy on a single prize Pokemon, I think you're better off with Boltund. Because Boltund, it's free energy 160. And you got free retreat. And 160 is a way better number than 130. It gets a one-hit KO on a Dedenne. And it will KO the vast majority of single prize Pokemon. Whereas a lot of evolution stage 2s, etc. You are really going to struggle with with Thunderous here. So I do think the attack is fine. If you're playing Thunderous anyway, I think the attack is alright. And I think it will be useful. But I think you play Thunderous for the first attack. And the second attack becomes a little bit of a bonus. But we also need to have a little bit of a chat here about Volcarona. I'm not changing the score because the score stays on Thunderous regardless of the second attack. Now, I know Volcarona isn't quite a legendary, but come on. It is a Pokemon where you can essentially find it hidden away in the game and it's there sitting in the overworld for you to interact with. It's close enough. And I've been playing through Gen 5 games lately. I'm on a Gen 5 high. I am loving today's cards. Now, if we start off stage one, we've got 130, which is nice. That's the number I said we were looking for. We're up to a retreat cost of two here, but you can use Air Balloon to still get free retreats. And you're weak to water, which is not a widely played type. Maybe one day Frostmoth decks will be crushing. Today is not yet that day. But you are a fire Pokemon, which means welder to accelerate energy, which is awesome. It means weakness on metal Pokemon like Zacian. It means weakness on fire Pokemon like Rillaboom. And okay, they're not seeing a bunch of play at the moment, but they might. So yeah, make no mistake about it. This is a good typing right now. First attack, two energy, 50 damage. Not loving it. I don't think it's very good. I think it is aggressively average or meh or those other phrases i use all the time it's 
fine. But, you know, you'll get a one-hit KO on a Snom. And you'll get a one-hit KO on a Jirachi because it's weak. But you won't get a KO on a Galarian Zigzagoon or your average evolving Pokemon, which is coming in at, you know, like 70 HP nowadays. So it, it's fine. And there will be games where you go first, your opponent has a turn, then you evolve Welder and go. Fine. But it's not one that we really need to put too much time and effort into here. It's a second attack that excites us. And the second attack for free energy does 170 damage. And you discard two energy from this Pokemon. Which is a very standard kind of fire attack, right? Free energy, do a bunch of damage, discard two of them. That is a standard kind of attack that we see. But the difference is, here you're doing 170. And 170 is awesome. We can put this up against, say, the promo Flareon. And the promo Flareon is free energy 130 as a stage one single prize Pokemon. Well, this is better than that then. And the thing about 170 is you get a Dedenne, which is awesome. You are 10 damage away from a Crobat, but you can use a Galarian Zigzagoon, Vitality Band, etc. 10 damage is not the end of the world. But the thing is, you're also, if you're hitting for weakness, getting a one-hit KO on anything. I showed you Rillaboom V Max a moment ago, very deliberately so. 330 HP, but 170 with weakness is 340. We have not seen standard Pokemon that have more than 340 HP. So that means that if you're hitting for weakness, you are literally getting a one-hit KO on anything. While you're getting a Dedenne, while you're getting an Oracorio, etc., and honestly, there are two reasons why I like this attack and I like this Pokemon. And it is 170 is a gosh darn good number. And you've got Welder. And when you're telling me I can hit one of the key numbers in the game, and with the aid of a supporter card like Welder, I can get all three of the energy that I need on there in one go very easily, then I'm in. And this is what I think sets this apart. There are plenty of Pokemon out there that can deal a decent amount of damage as a fire Pokemon using a welder while discarding a couple of energy. And remember, you're discarding two energy, but you can just weld them back on next turn. You can use fire crystal to get them back from the discard pile. We're really not worried here. But the difference is the number that I am hitting is absolutely beautiful and that i think makes a whole bunch of difference here and honestly if we look at stage one fire pokemon in the sword and shield block you can't beat this there is no other better stage one pokemon there's the makargo from vivid voltage but the problem with makargo is it's four energy and when we're talking fire Pokemon, free energy is key, because free energy is welder attachment for the turn attack. This is four energy, not good enough. It's not going to work. And that does 180, but again, it, it's not going to work. There's a couple of other Pokemon, like the Center Scorch from Champion's Path, which will do 140 for four energy. But again, it's four energy. I cannot just welder attach for turn and attack so i'm sorry i'm not taking it particularly seriously the only one that can beat it is the magmortar that came around in rebel clash but the problem with that is you discard the top card of each player's deck and then you get to do 100 more damage for each energy discarded here which sounds really good and might be really good but you might not hit an energy. Your opponent might not have one. You might not have one. If you can guarantee it or near as darn it, then yeah. I think you could easily look at this Macargo and go, no, actually, I, I like Macargo more than I like the new Volcarona here. You've got an extra 10 HP. You do extra damage. But you are trying to guarantee that you do that damage. And I'm not sure it's going to be there. So you know what? If you're looking for a single prize Pokemon that can deal a bunch of damage for a welder and an extra energy, yeah. I think this could be a good card. I think this absolutely could be one that sees a bunch of play. 
Do Fire X really want Stage 1 Pokemon at the moment? Arguably not. They're not seeing a huge amount of play. But then again, maybe we haven't seen the right one yet. Either way, I think again, I've got to give this between three and four Wossies. We don't give half Wossies. That would be barbaric. I do think there's a bunch of potential here. If you're willing to make space for a Stage 1 single prize Pokemon in Fire Dex, I think this is probably the best one for you. But I'd like to know what you think about both of these cards, ladies and gentlemen. And I'd like to hear some love for Gen 5 Pokemon. So let me know in the comment section. Go nuts! Be nice! And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcg radio if you want to support the channel get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff head on over to patreon.com slash ptcg radio where you can do exactly that but by far the most important thing as always look after yourselves till next time would ya thank you very much for watching my name's ross and you've been watching ptcg radio